Orangeburg County delegation gathered to discuss a bill that would consolidate three school districts into one. Today, members of the community gathered at Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College to express their views and concerns. Here's what they had to say. Um, and I just have several questions regarding this. Number one is, is this in the best interest of our students? That's what we really need to look at, and is this, is this going to be for the best for them? When I travel to work, I leave my house at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I pass school buses picking children up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Are they going to have to get up any earlier to go to a further away school whenever y'all decide that y'all are going to close schools in whatever year y'all decide? Number two, is this going to cause our taxes to go up? You said that it's going to cause property taxes to go up, but it's going to cause other taxes to go down. For how long is that going to be? If the bill is passed, do you think it would be in the best interest of the legislation or the people? Well, of course, when you have something as controversial as school consolidation, the people who are opposed are the ones who tend to show up and give voice. And I expected that there were no real surprises. I was surprised that there were a few people who spoke in favor of the legislation. Um, I heard some comments tonight that I think make sense and that we ought to look at going back into the legislation and tweaking to see if we can. A lot of what I heard tonight, quite frankly, is not in the legislation. There were conversations about classroom size, about programs being cut, a number of, of concerns that were expressed are concerns that are not in the bill. The notion of a referendum, uh, there was an inaccurate point made that we, in the last consolidation, said that there would be a vote. Uh, I'm not sure where all these things are coming from. Uh, so I am still firmly in support of consolidation. I intend, when the House goes back in session, to amend the bill, taking into account some of the concerns that we heard beforehand, as well as whatever that point was tonight that has totally escaped me. But I am still very firmly in favor of consolidation and intend to do everything I can to make sure that it's passed because long term I think it's in the best interest of the kids in this county. Right, well there were some concerns about taxes and economic impact. What do you have to say about that? I don't have anything to say about that other than we live in a society where taxes are required to provide services. It's my understanding that the tax increases will be nominal in one district, will go down in the other two. Uh, so while I can appreciate a concern about taxes, one of the things that I've learned uh, in this work is that all of us pay taxes, a lot of us pay taxes for services we don't receive or don't offer. I don't have kids. My husband and I don't have kids in the public schools, but we pay taxes. So taxes is a part of living in America. Back in 96 when we consolidated, I was for one school district then. My colleagues on the delegation were not. We, in my view, are completing the work that we started back in 1996. How will the bill be beneficial to the community long term? Long term, it allows us, and, and, and what I was attempting to say tonight and just decided, you know what, just leave it alone. Long term, the state is going to consolidation statewide. What I feel very strongly about is us getting in front of the curve. I don't want the state to mandate to Orangeburg County that we consolidate. Long term, I think it will be in the best interest of the children in this county because opportunities for curriculum, for development, for teachers, all kinds of exposures that kids don't have countywide will be possible. So I'm for equalizing opportunity for students in Orange County. And I believe long term that's the best benefit of consolidation. What are some views and concerns that you have regarding the bill? Well, for me it wasn't transparent. Um, I think I was I was pleased the fact that they at least had a forum tonight to hear our concerns, but it should have been done a long time ago and taking taking our views into account and so I think how it was done um, 
leaves me with some trepidation, you know, about not really hearing from the constituents, you know, around the county. Um, and so, you know, what I ask for is that it be tabled, you know, or however that legislative wording is, you know, until you can have more public forum for across the board, across the county, instead of it being done on the spur of the moment. And, you know, we heard at first it was going to be, um, they were going to vote tomorrow. Um, from what they said, it is going to be a vote before June 1st. And I don't think that's enough time to really consider all the things that, that we, the concerns that we have. I asked um, Representative Cobb Hunter, she talked about having data that supports consolidation. I asked for her to send me that data because that data has not been put forth. Um, and um, we have other conflicting data that says consolidation is not a good idea. So um, I would be interested to see what, kind, what she is basing her views on. How do you think the bill will affect the community? Um, I think for our community, I'm in a rural setting. Um, and we are a community, you know, we know each other. And um, I don't have fears, I have concerns. I have concerns that eventually schools will be closed. And I know in the bill that they have in there about being able to um, have to have three public forums and a referendum before they can close the school. Um, but I think that in several years, maybe five, ten years, that that would be the case, is that they will start looking and doing those kinds of things.